Okay, here we are. Uh, D block chemistry class. What are we doing today, guys? Making root beer. Making root beer. All right, we have sanitizer, we have root beer kit, brown sugar, white sugar, mixing bowl, uh, all of our airlocks, uh, mixing bowl, our root beer mix, and very good. Here we go. Uh, what are we gonna do first? All right, first we're gonna warm up the water and get it to a ni nice high temperature. Put about a cup of it in cereal bowl, mix some yeast in. Put half of uh, what we have over there in the mixing bowl. Mix in the root beer and the sugar and put it all back together and let it ferment. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, Zev is adding our yeast, our compound to our water. Excellent. Oh yeah. Very nice. Raritan, what are you doing? Uh, pouring tablespoons of root beer mix. All right. It's going to be our flavor. A little more. Never mind. Where's the other one? No, no one listens to me. And we want a teaspoon as well. And one teaspoon. What do you think about this, John? I think this is wonderful. We have the addition of white sugar and brown sugar. Oh, hallelujah. I love this. Nice. You the last. And then brown sugar. Are you at that brown sugar? Okay, so who wants to just like the drink this right now? Perfect. There you go. Nice. Yeah. And now we mix. With the yeast. What's that stuff? Yeast. And then addition of the yeast all at once. It's going to blow up. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, now we mix. All right, so Mr. Clapper, what are you doing? I am pouring our solution back into our fermenting container. It's not mixed up yet. This smells great, it smells like uh, root beer barrels. What's that smell like? Root beer barrels are... Uh, like the candy? Like the candy. Which are God's oh, yeah. gift to the southerner. Oh yeah, the A.W. thing. Like uh, bars. Jonathan, what are you doing? Um, I'm building a L lock into this. Okay. Move it. This is after initial mixing of the root beer and yeast. Uh, you can see we have our air lock on here so that no air gets in. Only gas can bubble out. Uh, and we're going to let this sit and ferment for approximately uh, three to four days. 